What's that you hear? It's the thumping of one of the most important organs in your body. Today, we're dissecting an incredible topic, the human heart. This small but mighty organ is one of the most fascinating parts of our body, working tirelessly every single day to keep us alive. Get ready to learn about biology, anatomy, and what makes the heart tick as we discover the heart structure, how it functions, and some surprising fun facts that you might not know. Let's get started. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of your fist, located slightly to the left of your chest. Its primary job is to pump blood throughout your body, delivering delivering oxygen and nutrients to your tissues and carrying away waste products. It's part of the circulatory system, which also includes your blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. The heart is unique because it's a muscle that never gets tired. While other muscles in your body need rest, your heart keeps beating 24-7 from the moment you're born until the moment you take your last breath. On average, your heart beats about 100,000 times a day, pumping roughly 2,000 gallons of blood. The heart is divided into four channels. Chambers. Two on the top called the atria, which the singular form is atrium, and two on the bottom called ventricles. These chambers are separated by a thick wall of muscle called the septum. The right atrium receives oxygen poor blood from the body through two large veins called the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The blood moves from the right atrium to the right ventricle, which pumps it to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. In the lungs, the blood picks up oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. Once the blood is oxygen rich, it returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins and enters the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood flows into the left ventricle, which is the strongest chamber of the heart. It pumps the oxygen rich blood out to the rest of the body through the aorta, the largest artery in your body. The heart also has valves that act like doors, making sure blood flows in one direction. These valves include the tricuspid valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle, the pulmonary valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, the mitral valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle, and the aortic valve between the left ventricle and the aorta. Each valve opens and closes with every beat, ensuring smooth and efficient blood flow. The heart's pumping action is powered by electrical signals. These signals originate in a small group of cells called the SA node, also known as the heart's natural pacemaker. The SA node sends out electrical impulses that cause the atria to contract and push blood into the ventricles. Then the impulse travels to the AV node, which delays the signal just enough to allow the ventricles to fill with blood before they contract. When the ventricles contract, they push blood out of the heart. This cycle of contraction and relaxation is called the cardiac cycle, and it's what creates your heartbeat. You've probably heard the lub dub sound of your heartbeat. That sound comes from your heart valves opening and closing. The heart doesn't work alone. It's part of the circulatory system. The circulatory system has two main loops. The first is the pulmonary circulation. This loop carries blood from the heart to the lungs and back. It's responsible for oxygen oxygenating the blood. The second is the systematic circulation. This loop carries oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body and returns oxygen-poor blood to back to the heart. Your blood vessels are like highways, allowing blood to travel to every corner of your body. Arteries carry blood away from the heart, veins bring it back, and tiny capillaries connect the two, allowing oxygen and nutrients to pass into your tissues. The heart is essential because it keeps all your organs alive. Without the oxygen and nutrients, delivered by your blood, your cells wouldn't survive. The heart also helps maintain your body temperature and pH levels by ensuring a constant supply of blood. Even slight issues with the heart can affect the entire body. That's why it's so important to take care of your heart through healthy habits like eating nutritious food, exercising regularly, and avoiding smoking. Nutrients are spread throughout the body via the blood, which serves as a delivery system for the cells. After you eat, the digestive system breaks down food into smaller molecules like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, and vitamins. These nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream through the walls of the small intestine. The blood, rich it with nutrients, is then pumped by the heart throughout 
about a network of arteries, veins, and capillaries. Capillaries, the smallest blood cells, are where the exchange happens. Nutrients pass from the blood into the surrounding tissues, feeding every cell in the body. At the same time, waste products like carbon dioxide are collected by the blood and transported away for elimination. This continuous circulation ensures that every part of the body receives the energy and building blocks it needs to function properly. Taking care of our heart is essential for maintaining overall health and well-being. One of the most important ways to care for our heart is by staying active through regular exercise. Activities such as walking, running, cycling, or swimming can help strengthen the heart and improve circulation. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins is also crucial as it provides the nutrients needed to support heart health and manage cholesterol levels. Avoiding excessive sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats can reduce the risk of heart disease. Additionally, managing stress through relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing helps lower blood pressure and prevent strain on the heart. Not smoking and limiting alcohol intake are vital habits to protect the heart from damage. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider along with monitoring blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels can help catch potential issues early. Together, these lifestyle choices work to promote heart health and reduce the risk of cardiovascular problems. In the animal kingdom, hearts come in various shapes, sizes, and structures, each adapted to the needs of the species. For example, fish have two chambered hearts with one atrium and one ventricle, which efficiently pump blood in a single loop from the gills to the rest of the body. Amphibians like frogs have three chambered hearts with two atria and one ventricle, allowing for some mixing of oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor blood. Reptiles such as lizards also typically have three chambered hearts, though crocodilians have a unique four-chambered heart similar to mammals and birds, enabling complete separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood for more efficient circulation. Mammals and birds have four chambered hearts, which supports their high-energy lifestyles by ensuring the oxygen-rich blood is delivered to the body without mixing with oxygen-poor blood. Even invertebrates have fascinating heart systems. For instance, insects have a simple tubular heart that pumps hemolymph, a fluid which is similar to blood, through their open circulatory system. While cephalopods, like octopuses, have three hearts, two that pump blood to the gills and one that pumps it to the rest of the body. These diverse heart designs showcase the incredible adaptability of life on Earth. The heart has long been seen as one of the most recognizable symbols of love, representing emotions like kindness, compassion, and deep connections between people. This idea can be traced back to ancient civilizations where the heart was believed to be the center of not just life, but also emotions and thoughts. The ancient Egyptians, for example, considered the heart the seat of the soul and the key to the afterlife, while the Greeks associated it with passion and vitality. During the Middle Ages, the heart began to take on a more romantic meaning, appearing in literature and art as a symbol of love and devotion. Over time, this idea spread across cultures and evolved into the heart shape we know today, which doesn't look much like an actual human heart. Why did this shape become the heart symbol? There are various ideas about that. Some people think that it does look somewhat like a heart, but in a very simple form, and others think that it looked like a now extinct plant which was an important symbol for love in ancient times. However it got its shape, the heart symbol became an idealized emblem of affection and care. From Valentine's Day cards and love letters to drawings and emojis, the heart is now a universal way of expressing love, whether for family, friends, or someone special. Its enduring symbolism reminds us of the importance of love, kindness, and the bonds that connect us to others, making it one of the most powerful and cherished symbols in the world. Now, it's time for some fun facts. But before we do, take a moment to pump that like button and give the comment section some much needed CPR by telling me whether or not you think the heart is a good symbol for love. Thank you so much for watching my video and now on to some fun facts about the human heart. The heart is one of the first things that begins working after conception and it doesn't stop beating until the end of your life. The heart creates enough energy in a day to drive a truck for 20 miles. If you were to stretch out your blood vessels, they would be long enough to circle the earth 
twice. A woman's heart typically beats faster than a man's. On average, a woman's heart beats about 78 times per minute, while men's heart beat about 70 times per minute. The sound of your heartbeat is made by the valves closing inside your heart, not the muscles contracting. A person's heart will beat around 3 billion times in their lifetime. Laughter is actually good for your heart because it reduces stress and improves blood flow. The human heart is an extraordinary organ that works nonstop to keep us alive. From its intricate structure to its incredible strength, the heart truly is the powerhouse of the body. By understanding how it works, we can better appreciate the importance of taking care of it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might find it interesting. Let me know in the comments if there are other topics that you'd like me to cover. Parents and teachers, if you're looking for some more educational resources, click the link in the description for a heart unit that you and your kids will love. Until next time, take care of your heart by getting messy and making lots of mistakes today. Bye!